All right, everybody, welcome to the call today. This is Scott Pierce at Listing Sleeves, and we're going to be going over database mastery. So we want to touch base with our database every week, just like we do on social media, just like we do with our farm and circle prospecting on a monthly or recurring basis. So we're going to cover for the week of October 6th through the 12th. I'm going to give you a number of different options of things that I would recommend that you send out. And real quickly, before we get started, what does Listing Sleeves have for you? We've got automated buyer seller email campaigns, and those are forever. So you can set them up so any buyer lead, any seller lead can get connected to an automated follow-up via email. You can also send your leads to your CRM. So if you got a CRM, if you've already got a database at, working at a high level, you can get those leads to there, but you can still select emails from Listing Sleeves to use and send out from your CRM. So you still want to be a part of this call here. We have a hundred plus email blasts for the listings, PDF guides, landing pages, current topics. So we're coming out with every week or two new emails for both sellers and buyers based on today's news to help engage more homeowners and more home buyers. We got the AI text follow-up that is half off through October. I highly recommend this. I really do. We're seeing great conversations. The biggest issue with most people using the AI text follow-up is you got to run enough leads through it. So you need to be spending at least $85 a week because you're probably getting about a 10% connection rate, right? Where the leads will say, yeah, give me a call and I'll fake tomorrow, later today, Tuesday at three o'clock or something like that. But if you're only generating four or five leads a week or 10 leads a week, it's not going to be worth it. And if you're spending $85 or more a week consistently, which is key for a lot of reasons, which I'll get to in a minute, then the AI text follow-up would definitely be a benefit. We're coming out with text follow-up. So the 10 digit text codes that will be similar to email, but via text. And you can use listing sleeves. You can upload, imagine uploading your database. So you can download your database as a CSV file, and then we can target those people on social media through your Facebook ads. That's not a, that's a good thing. If you had a big enough database uh, and it's good data, that might be something that you take a look at. Get in the mastermind group. If you got questions on that, people can help you out. With that said, before we get to it, I want to show you this chart graphic I'm working on. I haven't really seen anything like this in the past. Let me know if you have, uh, and I've actually got one that shows how most people are today. But here is the problem that most people have with lead generation, engagement, and uh, conversion. You're not consistent enough or a lot, and that's hurting you in a lot of ways. So imagine if you just generated 20 buyer leads a week and 10 seller leads a week, which with listings to leads is so easy to do, very easy. If you just did that for 12 weeks, that is three months, at the end of that, you would have 240 buyer leads, 120 seller leads, all generated in the last three months. You, you, you don't need to worry about bad leads. You don't need to worry about bad phone numbers. The reason you are focused on that kind of stuff, and this is industry-wide, is just because you're not generating enough leads. So you're focused on the ones that don't call you, the ones that do this, the ones that do that, whatever it is. If you would just generate enough leads, you will buy as a byproduct of using listings to leads as we train on, you would actually start engaging those leads that are in your database. You'll engage those leads via social media, via the tools and the videos that we talk about. The biggest problem you have is, and, and it's a bit of a commitment issue, I get it, but you need to get consistent in your marketing and in your lead generation. Because here's the thing, even Facebook works better you will get better leads at a better cost if you're consistent running Facebook ads. The pr big problem, and I see this with clients, the ones that are every week, they're always at the top of the list for the number of leads they generate because they've been doing it for months and probably in actually years. Some of them have been clients for 10 plus years. Every week they're doing their ads. And as it gets longer and Facebook gets better and better at putting your ads in the right place, you're going to get better leads at a better cost. But the problem is so many people 
they're just all over the place. And I know today is we're talking about the database, but the database works very similar. Staying inconsistent is one of the biggest killers that is hurting your business. So with that said, we're going to get into it. I got a couple of emails for your buyers. I got a couple of emails for your sellers, right? We're going to get some engagement out of our database this week. We're going to talk scripts. So it's not about just emailing or sending a text, but we're also going to make some phone calls into our database. So get yourself to listingsalades.com. Real quickly, let me just say, go to, I'm going to drop this link. Go to youtube.com forward slash listing sleeves. If you're watching this on the recording, uh, please make sure you like and subscribe to the listing sleeves YouTube channel and on Instagram. We now have a playlist called the one minute lead gen and engagement tips. Highly recommend it to you. Every video there is about a minute long. And I just give you a quick heads up and something about listing sleeves that can help you grow your business. Again, it's under a minute. Check it out. Would love to have you like and comment in the videos and really give me your feedback. I would love your feedback on that. I, I'm doing this for you. So it's your feedback that'll help me help you better. So let me know. Now, today we're talking about the database. The first thing I want you to do, if you haven't done this yet, in the upper right hand corner, there is a customized dashboard function button. If you click that, I want you to check. Make sure you've got recommended email blast checked. That's a section that you probably didn't realize was there. So it's called recommended email blast. And when you check it, it may drop that section below the fold. So you might have to scroll down on the right side to see it. And I dragged mine up right below pending and sold listings because every week, right? I want to make sure I mark it an active listing a pending sold listing, and I want to get an email out. No, we're going to do it. I'm going to do other things as well, but let's see what that looks like now. So I've activated that section for the email blast and I brought it up right under pending sold. And here we go. So you can now see there are a couple of emails right here already. 10 interesting days for October. Rates lowered, more affordable homes, time to buy. Rates lowered more buyers, time for sellers. This email right here. Oh my gosh. I've already set mine. So I'm going to show you. In fact, let me send the test email to myself. I'm not sure what that email looks like. And then I'll show you this email. I would send this email. If you got the ability to do it while you're on the call with me, I would, because here's what that email looks like. It says, hey, Scott, the Fed just cut rates by 50 basis points for the first time in four years. Mortgage rates have dropped to the lowest level in one and a half years. Lower rates will bring more home buyers into the market as homes are now more affordable than at any time since early 2023 in most markets. Is now the best time to sell your home in over a year? For most home buyers, yes. And then it gives us some options that they can click the image to download your 100 point home marketing plan. Get a current home value estimate and download the PDF guide, the ultimate guide to selling your home. So this is meant for you to edit as appropriate. There's also a buyer version. So if your market is more for the buyers, you can use the one for the buyers. If it's balanced, you could use both, right? And again, edit them as appropriate for your area. So if I click the image, my website, my agent listing website from listings to leads comes up and I just threw a video in there playing around. So this is my agent website from listings to leads. And as you can see, the very first option is to get your hundred point home marketing plan. Then you got the buy and then they get the home value estimate right there. If you got a podcast, check this out. There's, there's an easy button to run Facebook ads. There's an easy button to run Google ads. There's a checklist in terms of print marketing, like a nearby homeowner letter that can go out and invite people to our catering food truck open houses. And it's just to stick to the checklist that they have in terms of building business. And this is honestly how we have scaled to getting about 2.2 additional transactions per listing. So imagine if you had a great video, you could put that video on your listing for leads agent website. So awesome. 
And then you can see here when they scroll down, so they get the email, they click the email, they land on the, your agent website. They can download all the PDF guides. So here's my guide, ultimate guide to selling a home. So this email, I would get out to your database ASAP. So here's how you do it. Now, again, there's one here for rates lowered, more affordable homes, time to buy. So I'm going to just click on the subject line for the email that you want to send. And again, it will put you in the editor. I want you to edit this as appropriate. So just make quick edits to it because again, every market is going to be different. Every market's going to be different. So you might say, for example, lower rates mean homes are more affordable than any time since early 2023. I don't know. Maybe your market is maybe mid 2023. And then the one for the seller, same thing. And so here's the one for the buyer. Actually, the one for the buyer, let me click send test email here as well. So if I click send test email, I'll send myself a test email. And then you can send them from listings to leads or from your CRM. And I'll show you that here next. So here's the email that I just tested to myself. And what's really cool. So there's a nice little chart showing the difference between the rates. And then we got the ultimate guide to buying a home. So people click that and you don't need to do anything. It's all set up for you automatically. So you don't need to worry about creating the PDF guide. You don't need the branding or anything. If you get your listings to leads account, it's all done for you. So if you want to send this through listings to leads, select contact list. So I can say all my, this is the buyer email. So I'll say all my buyer leads. There's that PDF guide from a little bit ago, just downloaded. And then either click send schedule. So that would send it through listings to leads or Click copy code, go to your CRM, go to where you can send out either a mass email to a group of contacts, in this case, a group of my buyer contacts. If I wanted to use, if I'm going to use a seller email, then obviously I'll send it to my seller contacts. But this is show you how to drop that email into your CRM. Super, super easy. All you have to do is click the source button first. Every editor has it and this little pop-up comes up and that's where you drop in the stuff that we copied from listing to leads. And now look at this, an absolutely beautiful email. There's my listing to leads in signature. That is so beautiful. So you can, again, just in case you don't realize you can edit right here too. So even after I drop it into my CRM, I can still edit this email before sending. So get these emails to your database. Again, right here, this is the one for the sellers. If you mouse over it, it'll give you a little pop-up. So you can see the, it says rates lowered, more buyers, time for sellers. That's the one for your seller leads. That's the one that's going to link to your agent website. And then we got rates lowered. This is the one for the buyers. And then we've got a bonus email. Top 10 interesting dates. Highly, again, Rick, if you haven't sent this yet to your database, I would send this today. And this is a really fun email. It's just meant to be topical, right? We don't want, we don't want to always be kind of real estate constantly, but again, we also want to stay in our lane, if that makes sense. So anyways, this is a fun email. October is a little typical, right? You got pumpkin spice, you got Halloween. Right. Columbus day, Hunter's moon, chocolate cupcake. In fact, oh my gosh, I did an AI song for chocolate cupcake day and I even did a AI video. I'll, I'll show it to you. It's actually fun playing around with it. But again, get this email to your database. Let me send test email. And just like the other ones, I can send it through listings to leads. I can copy the code, send it from whatever CRM or email program I want to. So, right. That's a lot of fun. And again, it's just meant to be something that you share because a lot of these dates, people may not have realized they didn't know about it. And it's like, oh, wow. National chocolate cupcake day. That's pretty cool. Or the hunter moon, right? It's the full moon 
I, to be honest, I've, and I've heard good things. People, I've heard people comment on this one about the moon. Pretty cool. Cool. So anyways, get that one to your database as well. So these are three emails that we're going to start off with, but then obviously we've got other things. If you were go to the training tab and you scroll down, you're going to see every day of the week is a topic. Every day of the week is a conversation for you to have with your audiences across all platforms. So don't look at this as listing marketing stuff, real estate. This is content marketing. These are the conversations that you are going to have to get leads, engagement, and conversion. And you've got a conversation with built-in lead capture and call to actions for every day of the week. Related to the database, yesterday we covered social media. As always, we got the checklist, the guide. I'm gonna go to the listings. And now what I'd like you to do today is think about scheduling out all of these emails. I might send that first email. Today's already Tuesday. That's fine. I would send one of those emails. I would send an email to my buyer today and an email to my seller. I think if you were to send out the 10 dates in October, later on, like five to six hours after the first email, that's going to be totally fine because it's not real estate related. It's just about the month of October. So you could send all three of those emails that we just covered out today. So send the one for the buyers to the buyers, send the one for the sellers to your seller leads, and then four to five hours later, schedule the 10 interesting dates in October out. You'll be totally fine. The next thing I always want you to do is think about getting your e-flyer for your database for whatever listing you're marketing this week, get that email to your database as well. So I'm going to click market listing for my open house. We got the e-flyer for the database and keep in mind, these are designed to pull those buyer leads out of your database that also have to sell. So not only are the buyers going to click on this, homeowners are going to click on this email, but it's really designed to target the people in your database that need to both buy and sell. So look at this email. Right, we'd let them know about the open house in this case. And then we let them know that they that when the home is sold, it will affect their home value and they can get their free home value here. And then we got our listings to leads, leads and signature there. As always, I can excuse me, send a test email to myself. And let's do that. So I want to show you how that email works. And I would schedule this for the next day. So a day later. You can send five emails if they are good emails to your database a week. So here's the email for my listing or the listing that I'm marketing, right? If you're trying to make it in real estate every week, you got to market a listing yours or borrowed. That is like the core conversation you need to be having with your audience every single week. So this is the email that you'd be using for the database. Notice people in that beautiful little GIF and the single property website comes up. It always likes to pop up in my other monitor. And then, like I said before, it lets them know when the home is sold, it will affect their home value. They click here and my landing page for them to get a home value came up. This email, to not use this email is, would be a shame because you're gonna not pull the business out of your database. Here's my client review website. All my client reviews from Google, Zillow, testimonial free, my 100 front home marketing plan. Can you see how more comprehensive the emails from listings to leads are than from what you're using in your database or your current CRM provider? So again, in listings to leads, I can send it to a list and I can, we're adding the schedule here for this one. so. If you're going to send this tomorrow and you're going to use listing to leads, make a reminder in your uh, CRM. But again, I can click copy code, go to my database, go to my CRM or email program and either send it or schedule it from there, but get that email. And then here's the thing. Anytime you email out 
there are two groups of people you need to call. The people that open the email. So check your analytics and you can do that in listing to leads, right? Check the people that open the email. You call them up with the script. So I might at the end of the day, look and see who opened all my emails and then call them up with this script right here. So something along the lines of, Hey, John, Scott here at listening to leads. We'll let you know that we're having an open house at eight at 15 ambient way in Granite Bay on Friday. I sent an email with the link to the single property website with all the photos. I just want to make sure you got that. If you didn't, you can text one zero, 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 six to two, five, six, seven, eight. And the virtual tour will be sent to you automatically and you can check it out. It's a really pretty beautiful house. And with the way the market is now, I just want to make sure you knew about this. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you want to schedule a showing, that'd be great as well. And oh, by the way, when the home sells, it will affect the value of all the homes around. So with Scott at listingsleads.com being the best email to send your updated home value estimate to. And so if you left that as a voicemail, that would be awesome. That would be so awesome. If you got them on the phone, that would be great. And notice how I didn't reference the fact that I saw that they opened the email, but what I'm trying to do is make sure that they're hearing from me and seeing me multiple times as possible. So to not call them after they open the email is missing such a massive opportunity. And again, I'm not going to say, oh, I saw you open my email. Don't do that. That's weird. The other group of people I'm going to call are like the top five leads in my, in my CRM for that lead type. So it's an open house. I could call five buyer leads. And again, I'm not trying to convince them to go to the open house. I'm not trying to convince them to buy right now. I'm trying to show them I'm thinking about them, that I'm caring about them, that I'm offering solutions to them. So when you're calling, think of your calls as depositing little gold nuggets, little Skittles or little breadcrumbs so that they can come back and find you. But if you're not going to call, you're just going to let the email or the text do the work for you. You're really missing out on a great opportunity. The more they hear your voice, even just in a voicemail, the more easier it will be for them to connect with you when they're ready. Does that make sense for everybody? And I would also, if you send out the email that we just talked about under those email blast. So again, whatever listing you're marketing this week, send that to list email to your database, your buyer leads and or buyer and seller leads. And then, like I said, call the opens and then call your top five for that day. Real quickly, let me go back to the, the email blast and it's under follow-up if you want to go directly to it instead of the dashboard. So if I go to follow-up email blast, right? And we had the email to send to the sellers. And if I click on that again, just like the list, the email for your listing call right later in the day, look at your analytics or look at your stats for the email. And for everyone that opened it, I would call them up again with a script that is essentially the same thing that's in the email. If I saw, for example, let me go ahead and pick on somebody here, Charles. Okay. So I would call up, you know, I saw Charles open up my email and so I'm going to call Charles. I'm going to say, Hey, Charles, Scott here at listening to leads realty. And the fed just cut rates by 50 basis points for the first time in four years, which has caused a mortgage rate to drop a lot. And so now is really a great time to think about selling your home before everybody else starts listing in the area to take advantage of the lower rates and the expected home buyers that are coming back into the market that have been really priced out for the last few years. Just want to make sure you got the email that I sent and let me know if you have any questions. Super easy. You're just essentially re reiterating what's in the email. You're just reinforcing what's in the email because in addition to all the benefits I said before, for the people that are perhaps thinking about selling, maybe they saw the email, thought it was something they want to get back to you. You know how it is. We got, we all got a million things going on. So if you're going to rely on them to see one of 500 emails that day and remember to respond to it, even if they are thinking to your phone call could make all the difference in the world. And if you don't make that call, you, you lose the opportunity again. We want to lay those little breadcrumbs down to make it easy for people to get to us. And by not sending the email, by not calling, we're missing the opportunity. I hope I have made my point. Let's go back to the training calendar. 
Again, I'm under the training tab here in listings to leads for the week of the seventh through the 16th or 12th. So sold and pending is the other big thing every single week. This is the other core conversation. This is where the best cost per lead comes from for, for seller leads. So if you're trying to get listings, sending out or marketing a pending or sold listing every week, yours or borrowed is absolutely critical. Get, in fact, here, I'll show you. Sold pending, here's the checklist. Let me actually download it and I'll show that to you here in a second. And, but we've got, so here's the checklist. And notice there's a few things here that are for the listing agent only, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six things that you can do as a agent that borrows a listing, even a pending. Here's the guide. So I can click view and notice what I got right here. The very first link is how to borrow a pending or sold listing again. If you're not going to have those conversations with your audience, even when it's not your pending or sold, and I walk you through how to do that right here, you're missing the best conversations, the best ads, the best posts, the best emails, the best short form videos that you can have to engage homeowners thinking about selling. These are literally, this is the, and again, think of this as content. It's not a pending listing. All right. It's not a sold listing. It is content that is going to engage homeowners in the area, especially the ones that are starting to think about selling their home. So if you're going to skip this week, you're just skipping the opportunity to engage homeowners. So again, get to that training if you need it. And then once you're good to go, click go to listings. I mean, it's so easy, right? Once you read the guide once, you're not going to really need to do it again, unless you become super inconsistent. But here's my pending and sold listings. I got a, one that I borrowed this week. So this is not my sold listing, but if it is, it's obviously do your sold listing. I got the e-flyer for my database right here. I'll bring. And so if it was my listing, it would just say 786 Douglas Boulevard and Granite Bay just sold, but it's not my listing. So instead of using the street address, I use another home on. And instead of using the property photo that I didn't take or pay for. I just go take a photo of the street like this. And now I've got an awesome email to send out to the seller leads in my database to help encourage conversations around selling their home. If you want to send a, a recipe for pumpkin pie, you can, right? That's not going to really help you get more listings. So again, send test email, send it to yourself to take a look at it. Oh, one more thing. Let me just show you here. Yeah. In fact, let me send test email. It's always good for you to see what they look like, but again, you can send it through listings to leads to your seller leads. You might send the listing for sale that we just talked about to your buyer leads, send this one to your seller leads. And so now we've got two emails going out to our database. I'm not going to count the, I'm not going to count the 10 interesting days in October email. Just because that's more of a, this is more of a little fun engagement one. Here's the email for my sold listing. That's not mine. And so when you read that, when you read that post, you're going to see how to do this. And look at that graphic in there. Get your free home value estimate now. Beautiful. Got my signature down here. And again, people will click. Oh, check this out. This is actually really cool. 14. Versus two August. The average home sale price of five hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. This is a three percent price increase. This is it cool? Putting a little market report update how the property sold right in my single property website from listings to leads. So another home on Douglas Boulevard just sold. I'm not even using a photo of the house here. Here it's just a video. And notice how I do this in my property description. In fact, I'm going to give that to you. Let me drop this link because flipping your property description when the listing goes pending and especially when it goes just sold is very powerful to engage the people, especially the people. Think about if somebody were to click a post, an email, an ad, 
they send a text, they get the single property website virtual tour sent to them. And they're reading, they're looking through it. They're a homeowner. They're thinking about selling their home. For some reason, this home caught their eye. And when they read this text, even not my, this is not even my listing. It's not even my listing. Another home on Maple Drive, Folsom just sold. Little bit of a thing, how it sold over the Zillow's estimate, which I can find on my own. I don't need the listing agent to tell me that. I put address upon request. Of course, if I'm going to talk to somebody one-on-one, -on -one, I can share the address. I'm just not going to put the address in my outbound marketing. If that made sense, if that does not make sense. Let me know. And then I do a quick little blur here. And then I do a thinking about selling your home or 100 point home marketing plan for getting Granite Bay homes sold for top dollar. Then I just let them, they can download their copy by clicking at view or marketing plan below. And notice right below is this, get top dollar for your home. And these generate leads. I check the, I check the leads in the system and those things generate leads. It is so awesome. So anyways, get the email, get the e-flyer for your database or the pending or sold listing you're marketing this week to your database. Same as before. Notice the opens, call them up with the script. Don't let them know that you're watching them open the email, right? Again, that's a little bit weird. Just call them that way. Again, we're going to reinforce an email and voice together. We're going to show we care. We're going to show we're professional and we're going to reinforce, right? That familiarity with our ad and our brand so that we get more people calling us. We get more people emailing back, replying back, sending a text back to engage with us because they start to learn we're not scary people, right? Or the people that are going to hound them to death. We're just staying in touch, right? Quick and easy conversations, no problem. And then again, I would look at my top, top seller list, my top seller lead list. Thank you very much. And call the next five people. I called five people when I sent out the, the email about lower rates, bringing in more home buyers. So now's a great time to sell. I'll call five to 10 people that day that are at the top of my seller, le seller lead list. And then th th after I send this out again, I would call through the opens, call through the top 10 seller leads that are now at the top of my list. So we got two emails to sellers two, and I've got, if I go back to the training tab, right? I like to sit in the training tab here because it's not always easy to know what to do every day or every week to really grow our business. And this page right here can be a great base for you. Cause you're gonna see, we did the listing marketing. We do that every week. We do the sold pending every week. Now we've got another email, for the PDF guides. Now for social media, right? We did the post yesterday. We talked about doing the short form video. Social media, I'm gonna hit that every single day. I'm not going to do an ad for that one, right? We talked yesterday about not doing the paid ad because for paid ads, do it for the listing and the pending. And there's an email for this. So let me just show you. So if I click on it again, checklist guide, go to the guides. I'm going to click here, go to the PDF guides. It's going to take me right here. There we go. Five dangers of over overpricing your home. If I click on marketing tools, you're going to see. There's the e-flyer for your database. So maybe this week you say, you know what? I don't really have a pending sold. There's been no pending sold new in my area. And I don't have time to add that content into my account. I, you know, I got to get out of here in 30 seconds. You go sit in traffic for a half hour, listening to YouTube channels, right? Whatever, whatever is going on. This is a great email to send it as well for five dangers of overpricing your home. It's a great email. Again, I can send test email and let's check it out real quickly together. And I've got the, I got the best coming next. I don't know about the best. It's going to be a fun one and we're going to use AI. And I think I'm going to show you probably a lot of you a way to use AI that you may not have even realized, but regardless, here is the e, e flyer that I can send to my database. My seller leads five dangers of overpricing your home. If they click the image or the link, 
it'll actually just download the PDF guide. You'll get a lead notification email letting you know that somebody downloaded the guide. And this is all set up for you. So even if you just signed up for listings to leads while you were on this call, this is available for you. It is all connected. As long as you put in your profile photo and your name and phone number and all that stuff, it's all branded. It's got your logos. Absolutely beautiful. And the email is all set up for you. Your listings to lead signature is there for you. Again, you could have signed up five minutes ago and everything we're walking through is available for you. And of course, we're going to call through, right? We're going to call the people that open the email. We got the script right here. Did everybody here realize how many scripts we got in the system for you? Because again, what is this all about? It's about having conversations with people. It's about putting ourselves out there in as many ways as possible, across as many places as possible, and just having lines of communication open and the ability to communicate with people. So again, anytime you send an email, you're not expected to call your entire database. I'm not saying call every single seller lead or spend eight hours a day doing it. And I, I wouldn't want you to. What I want you to do is spend 10 to 20 to 30 minutes a day calling your database with the scripts that we got here, because it's going to keep it fresh. There's always something new going on that we got all the different PDF guides. We have all the different landing pages. We got all the different other things. You're never going to have, you're never going to run out of topics to call your database with, not with listings to leads. The last thing for the week here, home value estimate or invite by step guide, go to the marketing tools, go to landing pages. Let's go to landing pages. Might be a little bit easier for people. So th these landing pages are in your account right now. We actually have more coming, we got cash buyer coming. We got for lenders, we got a lot of landing pages coming. So I'm going to show you a really quick AI trip, quick AI tip. So we're looking at free home values here. I'm going to click marketing tools. And after I show you the thing for the database, the email for the database in the call script, I'm going to show you a few edits again, eFlyer for database. So here's my email. And what I love about this email is. This is going to the landing page, your home value landing page. This goes to your agent website. And this goes to your client review website. If you've got one, if you don't have a client review website with us, it, that won't be there, but do notice in the blue column on the left, there is a tab called client reviews. We can auto import from Zillow testimonial tree and Google. You can add them custom from any other source as well. And there's a lot of other really cool things that you can do, right? You saw my video on the top. It, it, it's really cool. And the domains that you get are nuts. I'll show you that here in a minute. But you may look at this and go, and, and you know what? By itself, it totally works. Why does this work without having anything else in here? Because people get to the point quick. They homes in September report. September home sales are in your home values changed. This has affected your home. Okay, great. Boom, boom. They click, they go to the landing page. Now, if you wanted to, you could add in and I went to Grok. You could use, I don't know. I don't know. Does anybody know chat GPT or some of the other ones? If they are as updated as Grok is, because I believe X is like up to like the day. And so here's my prompt. Give me a home sales update analysis for Folsom, California, September, 2024. And I'm going to drop that into the chat. And of course, just change the city and month and year. So it gave me all of this and th this was too much. It was good. I read it and it was like, okay, that was really good to read. And then I came back and I said, give me, notice I say, please. I want to make sure that we're all friends here. So I said, please give me a hundred word summary. I might even go down to like 70, to be honest with you. Cause it's still a little bit long, but it's good. I, you know, I like it. I like this a lot. So what I did, I just copied that. And so here we are at that email, right? For the home value. And 
I just take these two lines and I just paste over it. And then I, I, then all I do is I just put my cursor like in front of the word, despite I return on my keyboard and then I do the same for, so, so I'm, I'm doing shift return twice just to make a little bit of a paragraph break. And then I might just make sure. And then now let's send a test email and see how it looks. And again, I can drop this in there. So real quickly here, when somebody becomes a lead off your free home values or property valuation plus landing page, they will get a automated update home value estimate sent to them via email every month. So the first we would give every month, all of these leads get an email with a home value estimate in the email. So there we go. Hey, Scott, I hope you have a great week. The full term real estate market, September, boom. This has affected your home value. And so you could have pulled this from whatever program you got, Remind, your MLS, Cloud, Cloud CMA, right, whatever. Any Anyone that has a quick summary, just drop it in there. And then here we go, right? People click that graphic. And I'm going to show you how to put a video on this and a couple of other really cool edits. Next. Oh, what happened to my email? I lost my email. Let me bring that back out again. Because I want to show you the client review website as well. I'm sorry. Here's the email again. And of course, that's your logo on top and everything. Your, it's all, all your branding. So this will go to your agent website. And this will go to your client review website from listing leads. And again, let me just pull it over from my other monitor. And first of all, notice that domain, Scott Pierce dot amazing client reviews dot com. You can have video just like on that landing page. And you, you again, you'll see here all my client reviews, my 100 point home marketing plan, right? All the, my, I, I added a client review video on my guides. So beautiful stuff right there. And again, just like before, I can copy that code, right? I can click copy code, drop it into my CRM and send it out. So again, copy code, go to your CRM, click source, right? That'll be empty when you do, when you do that. Paste in all that stuff that we copied. Always check your formatting, make sure you look good here. But check this out. Beautiful. Look at that. Is that amazing? Oh, my branding's got that gold bar, right? That's my brand color right there. Little nice accent, beautiful signature at the bottom. Wow. That right there is beautiful. And then I'm going to do the same thing as before. Right? And so maybe you send this one out on Friday. So you might do to, for your sellers. You might do the email blast, but lower rates, more buyers, good time to sell. So that email might go out today, Tuesday, the pending sold, maybe Thursday. And then this one on Friday for the buyers, I would send the, uh, rates lowered email from the email blast today. Maybe Thursday I send to my buyers, the e flyer from my database for whatever listing I'm marketing this week. And then. On Friday, so is that two emails for the buyers? Yeah, and that's fine, right? So, they, so my, in my case, it'll be for the open house, and then they're going to get this email as well this week. Any questions on anything we've covered? Oh, I got a bonus. I got a major bonus for you. Who here has homes that in an area that you cover that are being hit by investors, right? Maybe they're pre two thousand. So do you, any of you have a farm with a lot of homes that are predominantly like pre 2000, pre 95, maybe this right here, what I'm going to show you will be awesome. Let me pop this out real quick. One sec, couple of questions here. I apologize. Can you manually delete? Yes. You're funny. I literally, if I go to client reviews. I literally just mentioned that to someone because they had a one-star review. And so, yeah, if you go to reviews, so let's say Richie gave me a bad review. So if I go view, let's see if this works. 
So here's Richie, right? Let's just say he gave me a bad review. Oh, I could even delete it, but let's just see in the off position, not even there anymore. Yep. Perfect. So yeah. So you could have the automation. It can come in from Zillow and come in from Trulia testimonial treats and notice you can add a review. So I can, and you can request a review. So I, again, drop that email into your CRM and send it out, request a review, manually add reviews. And notice what's really cool, reviewer source. If you do Google, Facebook, testimonial three, we'll actually add those logos in automatically, or you can add a logo. You'll notice here, and you can put a link to it if you wanted to, location, right, wherever it's located or, or the city, change the date there. Some other settings here. There's a lot of customization here you can do as well. The share image, the entire website, or you can add sections, customize sections, change the order of everything. The kind of website is pretty powerful. Delinta, hopefully that answered that for you. Is there additional charge for the client review website? Nope. Part of the, part of your account. I love chat TPT. Yeah. Yeah. I, I use both a lot. So when I'm in the office, it's pretty much all Grok on X, but then when I'm driving around, it's mostly chat GPT. I don't know why. I just find I like to use chat GPT on my phone better. And I like Grok better on my laptop, but whatever. Do we need to type a subject line every week? Do we need to type the subject line? Victoria, I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah. Maybe I didn't really show that, but yes, always make sure. For example, this is the subject line for that email for the sellers. Okay, let's just click on one here. What I would do is just like I did copy code, subject line, there's my subject line. I just copied it from listing to leads. And then in line desk, you'll see up here. And thank you for mentioning that because I didn't really show it, but there's always in every CRM, a subject line box that you can just copy and paste. Nope. What's the URL for Grok? It's just x.com. And then under premium for that one, I think it's like 20 bucks a month, maybe, or $11. I don't know. It's 11 or 10, 10, 20 bucks a month. But I tell you what, you know what? The images on Grok are the easiest images, the best quality. Check this out. Create image of wholesome CA home and 750 price range. Let's just start there. I always end up going two to three iterations when I'm trying to create. So I just come up with the base one. I want to see what it does, but look at that image. Does that look absolutely real? Like I feel like with chat GPT and some of these other ones, the images are a little bit cartoony looking. Like if I were to do that in chat GPT, there's no way the image would be that good. This right here looks like a photograph. Not quite 700, yeah, maybe. I'm thinking, yeah, it's, it, it, it's close. It's definitely not 800, but that would be, that, that's about right. And I tell you, check this out. Somebody give me an area where you live. Somebody, Jolinto, where do you live? And hopefully, I'm, hopefully I pronounce your name right. Give me like a small town where you live. Oh, there you go. Awesome. I don't even know how to say it. I've never been there. I've been to Virginia, but I've not been to this place. And we go. So let's do this. Free image of home and Henrico VA. Again, let's just start there. Now, I don't have any idea if this is correct or not. So you'll have to tell me. So that's one home, but I would like to get like two or three homes. Please create image. And let's see if we can. So let's see if this comes up a little bit better. Did you see all the other, uh, image I did? This might not be bad to use. You could use that cause it's like similar home, but you don't know really which one it could be. But I tell you, if you're in a pinch, I don't know. Could you use that in a post? Like if, if I lived in, is it called, is it Enrico? I I've, I've seen that name of in Virginia. I know of the city. I just never knew how to pronounce it, but does anybody know, does this look like, could you, could I use that in a ad or email? But anyway, play with this because like I said, this one and check this out, create image of Olson CA home backyard with cool and nice 
In fact, I'll show you my favorite image I've ever created. One of them. Oh my God. That, see, that looks so money. That literally, I could use that in a post for Folsom, Folsom pool homes for sale. I could use that in the post and that's on the nice side, but that's definitely that right there would work like crazy. And let me show you something here. If I go to landing pages, I've got Folsom pool homes and for check out. Yeah. I said I had a bonus for you and I never got to it. So check out this. If I just click view. So that's an AI image. And then if I take this or video, and if I take that and I drop it, well, where's my post? There we go. One second. I'm going to drop this in the mastermind group. And if I got, hopefully got the right image associated with that. No, okay. It was a different image. Anyways, one last thing I want to share with you guys. And this just, I've only got about a minute here. This, I'm going to put this in the questions in Reiko. I'll look it up a little bit later. That landing page. And I got another link I'm going to drop in, hopefully. In fact, from the master of my group, let me just search for investors. Because I mentioned before about, and I don't think I covered this yet, about if you've got properties in your areas that are like older homes that are something that investors are going for, this is an email that I would send out to the people in the area. This could be an ad. This could be a post. I got to get a video done of this ASAP. But for example, if I were to take that content right here and I go into listing Salibs, click on follow up, create email blast, subject line, R and so my subject line is our investor. And you could send this one out this week. You could, depending on how you want to do it. I just paste that in from that post. I'm going to change this to our investors offering you or a loved one. And I throw one or a loved one because they may have a mother, a father, a grandma, an uncle who they know is talking to an investor. I don't want to say just you. So I'm going to say, our investors offering you or a loved one pennies on the dollar for your home. Boom. I just threw that in there. Now, if you've got a landing page, like I do, which you can create in listing Salibs, I created this image in the landing page image tool. Boom. And here is that. Where's that landing page? Oh, here we go. And so if you got the image in your email, just click the image and you'll see this little editor kind of thing on the top right insert link. And so there's my landing page link I got from my account. I'm going to save a draft, send test email. And now check this out in like literally what, two minutes. We created an email that would it be a great email to send out to your database. Obviously just time it so you're not, you know, overloading your people, but here's that email. And if anybody wants this image, get into the mastermind group. Look at that. Hello, Scott, our best offer you putting it out for your home or that, and I would throw in the, or a loved one in there. And so let me tell you, this actually came from a client. And I can't tell many people that's on the call. This is awesome. I, I'll, again, I'll be done here uh, in a couple of minutes. But this idea came from a client who had got a seller lead that turned into a listing. And the reason she got the listing, A, it was a just sold ad that the person homeowner responded on. But the homeowner was being lowballed by investors. And so the investors were offering this seller $100,000. This is all in the mastermind group. They offered the seller $100,000 and our amazing, beautiful client got that thing sold for $200,000. The elderly lady who was a widow, who was downsizing, who needs to watch every penny that she's got, made $100,000 more. 
and to me, that that is why, that is part of the joy of being in real estate, right? And we can help out people like that. Nothing wrong with investors. We're not, I'm not bad mouthing investors. For the investor, it's awesome because they're offering you cash fast. You're in and out. You're not listing the property. But when you get a great agent, when you get an agent who's going to help take, like literally take care of you, you can make all the difference in somebody's life, just like our client did here. And so if you got areas, right, where the homes are a little bit older, maybe, you know, I don't know what, what would be the best, like 2000, maybe 1990 or before. Yeah, Leah, Leah, Le, 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 this is an external landing page. I'll show you. And this is the landing page I drop into the chat. This is my listings leads landing page. And yeah, if you got a landing, if you mean it by external, like from another company, yeah. If you got a landing page from somewhere else that was already created, 100%. You can come in here. I always like to drag this down, make it bigger and just click on it. Just like with my link, right? The box will be there. It can be any landing page, any, it could be your website. Although I don't really recommend. Here you go. Hopefully everybody got some value from this. Again, please go to youtube.com forward slash listing salades. I'm going to put the playlist into the chat. One the open, time. Every open house this weekend, Carl. And you all have a great week. Everybody listen, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, Joe, how are, yeah. Or what I would say is our investors targeting you or your loved ones with low ball offers. Yeah, that's a great, that's great. Definitely. Yeah. Love. And you know what? It, literally, I want you to, and when you send that email out, I want you to come from the place of the story that I shared with you without bad mouthing investors because investors are, are great. I you know investors have a place, but at the same time, if you could make that kind of a difference in somebody's life who is considering or a loved one is considering an offer that's literally 60% of the value of the home. And for just 5%, you can get that thing sold at top dollar. Right now, if it's not, they can do so much work as a tear down, be, be appropriate. Don't get them talked into something that's going to be impossible. But nine times out of 10, they can probably make a lot more money with you. So have that place of service in your mind and don't approach this from sales, even though it is, but that you're here to help as many people as possible. So with that, I'll let you go. Let me know if you have any questions in the mastermind group. We'll talk to you soon, everybody. Thank you.